We'd like to welcome you today to a very unique Saturday story. And all of this stems from an act of kindness because from an act of kindness always will bloom an absolute blessing from God. I have my helpers today, my sweet wife, and our music director, Sister Serena Lentz, who also has brought her wonderful Pampered Chef materials here to, to illustrate to you uh, a, a wonderful story. Uh, it was uh, Judge Jim Smith, who was a member of our Mississippi Supreme Court, who was a very, very close friend of mine for years. He had a birthday. And uh, I ran into the head of the Game and Fish Commission, Mr. Billy Joe Cross. And so we devised a, a, a plan to celebrate his birthday here in this very kitchen, right here in this very spot. Mr. Billy Joe Cross, who has written 10 cookbooks, he is deceased now, but these cookbooks are premier recipes of the state of Mississippi and all of its fine fare of wonderful, I shall say, little fattening foods, but it is great. So he came and prepared this meal. Wintertime is coming, and he said, he said, Reverend, said, this is a number one beef stew recipe, and everybody, hear me, everybody loves beef stew. Now, what we're doing here is, of course, to have beef stew, you got to have some beef, okay? And so we've got about three pounds of, 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 of beef stew meat. stew meat here in this stew meat. We're going to uh, doctor it a little bit, of course, and we have some seasoning here, and you can season uh, as you wish. But I'm going to sort of mix some salt and pepper and a little bit of this seasoning. And what we will do is put it, we're going to, to take this and, and put it all in here. I've cleaned up real good, so don't worry about it. And so here we go. We're going to get it all ready to, uh, to put it in our flour. And so remember now this recipe. You're going to want this because I'm telling you, it's going to be the best you've ever tasted in all of your life. Mr. Billy Joe Cross had it down pat, and you will enjoy this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a little salt and pepper, first of all, and we're going to put it all over this and sort of mix it all together and get it all ready. And then I'm going to mix a little seasoning with this, and uh, we're going to put some seasoning on it, and it's going to be awesome, folks. Listen. If you've never tried this, you really need to try some of this because it's going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome recipe. Thank you so and, much for letting me cook with you today, Pastor. Well, it's my joy because I'm here to tell you these Pampered Chef products are unbelievable and everyone needs to try it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm now putting the meat in the flour, okay? You've got to understand that process is very important to purpose. Everything has a purpose, but it has to go through a process. And so this is a this is due process. And so we're going to to get all of our our our, our we're going to put flour here and just sort of flour this up together. We've got a 12 inch um, cast iron skillet back here in the back. Let me show you what this looks like. This happens to be a pampered Jeff cast iron skillet, but this is a 12 inch. Uh, cast iron skillet. We've got a little bit of peanut oil in, and we're going to heat that up so that that's nice and hot when Pastor gets ready to uh, brown that stew meat. Okay, we're taking our meat and we're now putting it into our 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 pampered chef frying pan, and so we're getting it all ready to kind of sear this sear this meat. You just want to sear it a little bit, make it a little bit brown on each side. Now this is very important. Some people say, well, that flours, you know. You can use it, and you can do it without flour, but I'm just here to tell you, my mother, who was a, she, she was a dietitian for 43 years, she said, you got to put something good in to get something good out. So let me just tell you, it works in life. It works in, in spiritual life. It works in eating, too. So let's put something good in so we get really something good out because this is going to be, listen, if you miss this recipe, do not, do not leave the channel you got to get all of this because I'm here to tell you, in the cold winter time, 
when you when you're starved and you come in and you have nothing cooked and then you have taken this beef stew frozen it put it in, in in containers you can thaw this out and feed the family you talk about mama you oh this pampered chef stuff is going to be you will be a pampered chef after all this so i'm just here to tell you we're getting it all together here folks and it's going to be good 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 somebody's going to be a Somebody's going to say, you know what? That was probably the best Saturday story I have ever had. All right, to our recipe this morning, we're adding an entire sweet onion. So I'm going to show you a fast, easy way to chop up an onion. Got our pampered chef food chopper here. And this is going to dice this onion in really fine, small, minced pieces. So nobody gets any big chunks in our, in our soup this morning. I'm just going to add this right to the onion. And we take our little scraper and we scrape it off. And just like that, super easy. All right, I'm going to use the, our prep mat and I'm just going to transfer this over here to the pressure cooker. And then the pressure cooker goes our onions, our garlic, and also our celery. Now what you've got here is I, I, the next part of the recipe is the Weiler's beef bouillon cubes. I usually put on a big pot like this, about a dozen of these Wilder's beef bouillon cubes. And, and so you put the bouillon cubes in there and, uh, and what will happen is now we will get ready to put our meat. We're going to take our meat and put it in, into, the, into the pot, which is very, very important. Now what we'll do is when we finish with this, we will, we will also we will also take the, the, the pot and put water in it and take that and pour in because you got a lot of goody. The goody sticks to the bottom sometimes. That's why the book said, the Bible says stir up the gift of God because sometimes it settles. So you got to stir it up. So we're going to stir it up and put the goody in the pot so that it'll be good. You're going to add some real, real genuine flavor to that. So here we go. We're going to put a little more water in the pot. You really want to try to have it. It's got to cover. It needs to cover all the meat. I may put a little bit more. There you go. Like I said, these good helpers is very, 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 very important. And so what we're going to do now is put is put our lid on and uh, and uh, our, my helper here, who knows more about lids than I do, so she's going to lock it down, and we're going to plug it in. And folks, listen to me. Now, here's what you got to get. All of this is going to cook down together. You've got your onions, celery. You've got your, your garlic. All right, now we've got our, our wonderful meat that has been seasoned well. And uh, it's all together with the bouillon cubes that's going to bring the beef stock to all of this. And it's going to just be a, a great, great confluence of wonderful, wonderful food. Now, if you notice here on the table, we have various canned goods here that, that we add to this. Now, I'm going to just tell you, everybody doesn't have access these are fresh vine ripe tomatoes that was put up in jars. Magic uh, and so I raised a lot of tomatoes as some of you watched the videos. Also, we put a can of Rotel tomatoes. 
Now this gives a little bitty bite, but ooh, we like that bite. It's just a, a bite that you want another bite of, you of the food. Open this? You can go ahead and open that. And we put two cans of veg oil, okay? Two cans of veg oil. I hope you're looking at this. Hope you're writing this down, okay? Then to add, uh, you know, I like a lot of vegetables. So I put a can of whole kernel corn in there. And this whole kernel corn is, is very important. Then I put a small can of, of tomato sauce. This tomato sauce I put in. Now, this is optional. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to say now, I, I like mushrooms, okay? I do too. So these sliced mushrooms, I put maybe not a whole jar, but I do put, uh, I cut them up smaller where they won't be, you know, huge bites, but they're just part of the process. And of course, then I have some diced potatoes here that I don't maybe put the whole can of that because the veg oil does have some, but it does cause a confluence of a thickening, maybe, shall I say. And of course, potato soup, everybody likes that. Right. And so this is sort of part of a mixture of all of this that when it comes together, I'm here to tell you, this Saturday story is going to be your story. It's going to bring some glory in, in the cold winter time because you're going to sit down and maybe a little piece of cornbread. <laughs> Ooh, come on, that little piece of cornbread is going to add to the flavor and you're going to get it all together. Because remember one thing, the way to a man's heart is through, through his, his how through his stomach through his stomach so you got to understand ladies come on now if you want to make him happy make him full and he will be happy right. so let's get this beef stew down pat you don't want to tune off the channel you want to share this with somebody say listen i just discovered the greatest beef stew recipe in the whole wide world so i'm going to share it with my friends because everybody deserves to taste this. Well, here we are. We're, we've got the final presentation. We've simmered all of our vegetables together. Mmm, look at this, my goodness oh my we've simmered it got it good and hot and it's awesome they've all now been cooked together now look at here now this is what's so good oh look look folks look you've got oh here we come Yum. we're putting a yummy yummy all this good beef broth and stock together it's going to be wonderful 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 when you stop and look at at all this cooked down together, folks. That's rich. That's very rich broth. Very, very your rich. Onions, your celery, your garlic, your bouillon cubes. You've got a very rich beef stock right there. When you get all of this together, folks, and you mix this together, the, and, and in just a few moments, we're going to have this in bowls, <laughs> and we're going to be enjoying it. I want to close by saying that we did celebrate Judge Jim Smith's birthday, and it was a, it was a great surprise to him. But I just got to let everybody know one thing: this, mm. both, so good. it'll make you slurp. You will slurp and slurp, and it's so good. You gotta make some of this. If you don't, you're gonna go hungry all winter. You'll need this to survive the cold winter nights. God bless you. Share it with somebody. Thank you.